Dear my scholars, you are welcome to the My School YouTube channel. Right here, you are going to join me to solve several concepts under number and numeration. The topic specifically, commercial slash financial arithmetic. So we are going to pull through several concepts like interest, compound interest, simple interest, fixed rates, and the likes. Alright, so as well, we are going to consider amortization, we are going to consider annuity, we are going to look through depreciation, inflation, devaluation, and several concepts that are used when it comes to the money market. So, do not go anywhere. Stay with us, and we will be right back. Welcome back to your favorite learning channel, the My School YouTube channel. So, right there, still under number and numeration, we are going to dig through the concept of financial slash commercial arithmetic. Okay, so we have several concepts that we should examine together. So, let's join in. All right, so we have interest. You know, when you talk about interest, not generally, so interest in terms of money market. All right, so interest is just uh, that amount or that value, okay, regarding probably the money you deposited into the bank, all right, or the amount of money that serves as comp a compensation to the person that lends you money, okay? So let's say we are talking about uh, 50K. 50K is actually 50,000 Naira. So let's say you deposit um, 50,000 Naira into the bank, you know, over a particular period of time. It should generate an interest and a, a compensation for you for depositing that money with the bank, all right? Or probably you borrowed, um, 50k from someone, a lender, lender, let me say lender B, all right, so the compensation for borrowing you that money, right, from lending the money from the B, right, that is what you call interest. So we have different types of interest, it could be simple, compound, fixed, variable, discounted, even prime. Okay, so let's just explain these concepts, all right, in the most simple way possible, all right. So when you say simple interest, you know, simple interest, you just have the principal. I know we are talking about 50K here. So it will just calculate the interest on that 50K. So let's say the interest is 10% for a period of six years. All right, so it will just be 10% of that um, 50K. And 10% of 50K is 5K. Do you see that? Now? So you just know the compensation you are paying on that money is just 5K once and for all within that six, the, those six years. All right, so that's for simple. Then for compound interest. So, uh, when it comes to compound interest, for each year, all right, you know, we looked at six years. So, for each year, the interest will reflect, right, on the current um, capital or the current principal. So, you know, the principal year is 50K. So, for the first year, you know, at the end of the first year, so if you calculate the interest on the first year, that will be 10% of 50K. That is actually 5K. So, by the time you are calculating the interest for the second year, so you know, at, from the first year, you know, we have an interest of um, 5K. So, 5K plus 50K, that accounts for 55K. So, the next interest you are calculating for the next year, you are calculating interest on 55K, not 50K, right? So, that would be 10% of 55K. Then you still had that again, just like that. All right, so that's for compound interest. And there are formulas attached to it. So, we have a um, fixed interest rate, you know, right here from just, just from that word fixed. You know the interest rate we are going to pay you know pending the time of the loan if the loan is a, is a 15 year loan all right so the interest rate is just fixed it's not going to change it's not volatile all right so you as a borrower right you can sit down and say okay this is the amount i'm paying okay so uh, the other side or the flip side is variable or floating interest rate all right so just like the name implies Okay, so there are changes. And this is usually due to probably market forces or the current market interest. Sometimes it can be higher, sometimes it goes down. All right. So we have um, discounted in interest rate. You know, right here, this is a kind of analysis whereby you are determining the present value of future cash, cash flows. Let me just speak it. Let me just uh, present it in a very simple format. You know, this kind of um, system or interest rate is actually the dealings between Federal Reserve banks and commercial banks or other uh, financial institutions, okay, regarding short term loans. All right. So then we have other ones as well, the prime and the likes. Okay. So that is for interest. Okay. So let's move to the next one. We have amortization. So, you know, we've been using 50K from the beginning of this journey. So amortization means, okay, you want to get 50K to get an Android phone. 
all right just like your easy buy so amortization uh, implies that every month or the period of or, or over a particular period of time all right you are going to be paying certain amounts of money those are your installments right so and um, alongside the installments the interest will also reflect in your payments so it's just like um, installments making payments like batches and batches over time okay uh, then we have annuity annuity is just a kind of money paid to you all right uh, probably for the rest of your life maybe between, between you and your insurance company so maybe your annuity is 50k right every year so that means at the end of every year you'll be getting 50k 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 a lot or that's for annuity then we have monetary exchange so you know in monetary exchange that's where um, forex trading comes in all right so you want to probably you want to um, make some transaction or you want to exchange currency probably um, a friend or relative sent you money from overseas abroad all right so abroad can be Ghana as well so from abroad you know sending the money in you know we have to convert the money depending on the value in comparison from one currency to the other that's for monetary exchange basically all right I'm trying to use simple terms as possible so we have um, discounts and commission so um, discount is a kind of um, a reduction let me just put it that way a reduction in what you are paying for so let's say an item is tagged for 50k all right so you know that that 50k is not actually the wholesale price you know uh, if probably you are a vendor right so you got an item for for the 5000 era so what will your selling price probably you're adding 5000 era to it that's your markup so um, now you are selling for 50k all right so a buyer now comes to you and say okay i want to buy um certain quantity or certain amounts maybe i want to buy 12. you have to give me a discount right so you say okay so they'll be paying a uh, 50k per item why not just say okay you are paying 48k per item so you can see there's a discount all right from the selling price and to what you actually from what you have tagged the item to what you are selling to that particular buyer then commission you know is a kind of um compensation right or fee or money paid to an agent usually an agent right okay because they carried out a transaction and um, the payment is in relation to the amount of transaction made or amount of items sold or whatever thing it can be so it's just like saying okay uh, on 50k for every 50k that you make for this particular company or for this particular product all right so you are going to be getting maybe 10 percent of that 50k so for each 50k you get 5,000 error all right so then we have depreciation and in, uh, inflation. So um, depreciation here, yeah, let me just try to narrow it down. Depreciation means uh, over time, a particular asset loses its value. All right. So like, for instance, the use of iPhones, the use of um, wristwatches, the use of certain things. You know, there are some wristwatches that, okay, over time, their value may increase. But we are looking at probably cars. Yeah, I think cars are wonderful. You know, um, the longer you use a car, right, the value, the, the beauty or the, the, the shine, begin to wear off you can see so as an item or an asset loses value over time that's depreciation okay then we now have devaluation devaluation is quite different from depreciation okay so devaluation implies that um, government intentionally lower the exchange rate of a particular currency so that it can favor some causes all right so that's it is intentional all right so why for depreciation in the money market is because there's a forces in the market that actually inflicts this on you why for devaluation the government actually carried it out it was intentional all right then we have inflation inflation just simply means that money is losing its purchasing power all right due to some reasons it can be due to supply it can be due to demand or cost of production all right so that's inflation then we have um taxes all right so if you look um through the origin of taxes you know some presentation will tell you that um taxes actually originate um when governments try to fund wars all right so the way they perform wars was actually to levy tax or put tax all right or bring up a tax system whereby they can get money from the public to fund wars okay so that's just for the historical line all right so um, taxes is just that certain amount that the government has stipulated or it can vary right depending on the condition or the setup we are talking about so uh, certain amount you are paying to the government okay it can be directly or indirectly okay so let's look at um, some types of um taxes okay so we have income tax that is pay as you earn you know so if you are earning up to a particular amount there are certain amounts that um, you have to pay a proportion of your salary or a percentage of your salary or your income to put that you have to pay to the government 
all right so that is pay as you earn income tax then we have gift tax you know for instance maybe in the uk you know you want to give out certain amount of money the money you are giving it out depending on the conditions right uh, there are exceptions to such rules okay so there's going to be taxation on it to be taxed all right so just like the name implies gift tax then we have a um, capital gain you know this kind of um, tax is actually regarding the uh, profits you may you make from selling assets you know, uh, uh, things like um, stocks, yeah, bonds, you know, real estate and property, real estate stuff and property. So that's for capital gain tax. Then we have VAT, value added um, tax, you know, on goods and services. So most of the time, even service tax, you know, most of the times uh, it is the consumer that actually bear the burdens or most of the burdens of these um, taxes. Yeah. All right. So we move to stocks. So stocks um, are actually kind of a um, there are systems set up whereby, you know, probably the government or a particular company wants to wants to raise money. All right. So what do they do? Okay. Instead of saying, "Oh, please, oh, come and give us money," they will just sell out or distribute ownership of the company. All right. They now call it shares. Okay. So there are, those shares are just units of ownership. They will now say, "Okay, if the amount we need to uh, probably finance a project or to start this business is 50k, just for instance, you know, we are sticking to 50k." So that implies that um, they will now break down 50k, all right, into several units or shares. All right. So that means it can be, uh, let's say, one era or 1,000 era. So that means they are going to expect people to come and buy, right? So people buying now, they are shareholders. They have um, a share of ownership of such company. Do we see that now? Okay, so uh, we have different um, types of stocks. And do not forget that we have certain terminologies when it comes to stocks. All right, so you look at um, terminologies like um, the stock market. You know, that's actually where transaction of buying and selling comes in, right? Then we also have stock broker. That's the person that actually acts like the agent, all right, that if you to carry out the purchase or the sales of stocks, shares. All right, um, what else do we have? Okay, we have some types of stocks here. We have income, preferred, and common stock. So in income um, kind of stock, you know, right here, over a particular time, right, regularly, there's a kind of um, payment made to you, all right? You receive certain payments paid to you because you are a shareholder, all right? It's regular over time, okay? Then we have preferred stock. You know, preferred stock is quite different from common in the sense that this preferred, they are first paid, all right, they are the first set of people set to before the common stock. Now, one um, advantage this has over this is that common stock, they have voting rights, all right, so regarding the company or policy making and the likes. Okay, so we now go to shares. So we have equity and the preference shares. So like I said, shares is just um, a portion of the stocks, or you can say units of ownership. So in the full video section, you are going to get several examples on this concept you know the formula regarding simple interest compound interest you know amortization annuity monetary exchange discounts most of the concepts you are seeing here right we are going to pull up um, applicable questions all right and we are going to dig deeper into this concept with more explanations and um, relatable experiences so why not just hit the subscription button by using the link in the description below it's going to get you to the my school website right there you get to make a token subscription of 1000 naira all right for the math video lesson so why not do that right now and do not forget to hit that like button also the subscription button and always tap on bell notification so you can get alerts immediately we upload the next video lesson just for you